Okay, uh, good morning. Uh, this is uh, Professor David J. Villasoyes. Okay, my topic for this morning will be still trigonometry, a continuation of my long video format discussion trigonometry. So for those of you who are following my channel under the topic trigonometry, we are now on lesson number 37. Okay, let's proceed. The subject matter for this morning will be trigonometry, lesson number 37. Uh, the title of the topic, well, it's an under topic which is very important under the study of trigonometry. This is so, the so-called addition formulas for tangent. The last time around, uh, I discussed or derived the formula on how to take the tangent of the difference of two angles. And I even gave you what they call this uh, example uh, problem on the concept uh, tangent of the difference. So for this morning, I will be deriving the general identity and how to take the tangent of the difference of two angles. Okay, let's proceed. For the so-called derivation, we will start for, uh, we will assume for the meantime that the two angles are actually x and y, so it will be the tangent of uh, the sum tangent, no, tangent of the quantity x plus y. And uh, by definition, tangent is actually sine over cosine. So this will be the sine of the quantity x plus y over the cosine of the quantity x plus y. If this is x plus y, the angle here will be x plus y. This is x plus y. And sine over cosine is actually tangent. To bring out the final uh, identity and the tangent of the sum, we will expand this uh, sine of the quantity x plus y and the cosine of x plus y. We've done with that one. For the expansion of the sine of uh, isam, it actually is sine cosine, a cosine sine. First angle, second angle, first angle, second angle. The expansion of this will be sine x cosine y plus cosine x sine y. x, this x, this y, it's y. First angle, second angle, first angle, second angle. This is sine cosine, cosine sine, for the expansion of this. For the cosine expansion of a sum, it will be a cosine cosine, okay, and a sine sine. But if this is plus, this should be minus, for cosine. So actually, if we try to expand this, it will be cosine x, cosine y, minus sine of x, sine of y. Okay, uh, we will divide all terms on the numerator and denominator by this uh, value here, cosine x, cosine y. So the resulting simplification will be something like this. I will rewrite this one, sine x, cosine y. I will divide that by cosine x, cosine y. I will rewrite this one, cosine x, sine y. Then I will divide that again by cosine x, cosine y. All of it. The resulting denominator will be, I will rewrite this one, cosine x, cosine y. Then I will divide that by itself, which is cosine x, cosine y. Okay, I will rewrite this one, minus sine x, sine y. Then I will divide this again by cosine x, cosine y. Okay, there's no violation in that one. It seems uh, we divide all the terms on the denominator and the denominator by the value of cosine x, cosine y. We don't violate anything. We do not change the value of the fraction. Okay, try to make some cancellations. First one, this cosine y, cosine y cancels out. The operation is multiplication, right? So we can cancel. For the second one, what will cancel out will be cosine x, cosine x. Again, the operation on both the numerator and denominator are multiplication, so we are free to cancel. Right? All over. Uh, cosine x, cosine x cancels. Cosine y, cosine y cancels. So actually, this one here is with the value 1. Right? Minus. This is sine x, sine y, cosine x, cosine y. Uh, we can cancel anything here. There is no common terms for both the numerator and denominator. But since the operation is still multiplication on both numerator and denominator, uh, we could rearrange this one here. We could rearrange this one. Anyway, the operation is uh, multiplication, multiplication. Continuing with the 
simplification. I will rewrite sine x over cosine x. Then I will rewrite sine y over cosine y. All over. This is now 1. So this is 1. Then I will try to rearrange this one. Commutative law. I will uh, combine this as 1. Then I will combine this as 1. The operation is multiplication. Right? Then uh, we'll try to remember that the tangent of any given function, tangent, is actually sine over cosine. So if we put an angle here, x, angle here, x, sine of x over cosine of x is tangent of x. So we could rewrite the sine x over cosine of x as simply tangent of x. Okay. And again, uh, if we try to bring out another definition of tangent, that will still be a sine over a cosine. So considering angle y, if this is y, this should be y, and this should be y. So the ratio, am I still on camera? The ratio sine y over cosine of y can be represented as tangent y. Okay? Different angle, different angle. So this is tangent x tangent y over 1 sin x over cosine x is tangent of x sin y over cosine of y is tangent y it is this right so if we now try to replace uh, x by capital letter A and y by capital letter B okay the general formula now on how to compute the tangent of the sum of two angles will be tangent of the quantity capital letter B plus capital letter B equal to tangent of A, tangent of the first angle plus the tangent of the second angle if this is plus, this should be plus all over 1 minus tangent A, tangent B so this is now the general identity on how to take the tangent of the sum of two angles okay, that's it guys so the next time around I will be bringing out an example illustration to illustrate the concept of the tangent of the sum of A plus B. Okay, uh, good morning from Los Angeles. Professor David J.